Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Brian and in this tutorial we're going to be making a montage for your photos. Now you can change the colours of this scheme or whatever you like but once you've got a template you can adapt it to how you like. These are just free frames that I've picked up off the internet and put them into this sort of position so it looks like this. This is just one of the ways you can do it. It's a very basic way. Anyway, let's get started. So first off we need to use our pictures that we're going to use. So I'm going to be selecting um, Chinese or China as my theme. So let me just zoom in here so you can see. So I'm going to add that photograph to there by dragging and dropping. That's all you have to do. And then basically drag the picture over the top. But now we need to just twist this like so. So it's so it's in the actual frame properly. I want to get the whole of that temple in there, so I'm just going to turn it around a bit, like so. And I think that's okay. So I'm going to prove that and say, yeah. Now we've got all this surplus around the outside, so the way we're going to get rid of this is by clicking on our frame, like so. Now on that, once you click the frame, you just go to your magic wand tool and select in the middle and that makes a selection of inside. So what we've got to do now is make sure we get right to the edge of the frame but you can see it's just made a little space there so pushing your shift key down just clicking on that little gap we should go right up to the edge like so. From there we need to go to select and inverse and after that we need to make sure we've got our photograph selected that we put in like so and then go edit Clear. and that clears up all the circles and that's that so we've got our first photo in there so now we're going to go on to our second photo and I'm going to be putting in some terrible soldiers so I'm just going to click on that drag the photograph in and drag the photograph the way we like it like so Take more time getting your photograph how you want it, but I haven't got much time, so I'm just gonna give you an idea. So that's okay for me. Click OK, and then we need to make sure we've got our frame selected. Magic wand tool, select that in there, push the shift key down, push the space, and that's that. Select inverse. Then we need to make sure we've got our photograph selected, like so, go edit, and click, Control D to deselect, and we go on to our third photo. So, what we use is be something like Great Wall, so just drag that in, like so. around how we want our photo. Obviously you can use whatever photos you like, you can use your family snaps, kids, whatever you like, holidays. That's looks about right, it's a twisty photo so it's gonna look a bit funny. I'm gonna click OK. Now what we need to do is the same thing, same process. We need to make sure we've got our frame selected and then we need to make sure we go to our magic wand tool. In, pick the space, hold the shift key down and click on it and it goes up. Click inverse and then from there we need to go on our photo and then edit and clear. And that's that. Control D to deselect. We've got our nice little photos in there. That looks pretty cool already. Now we want to put a nice big one in there. So let's just get our photo. Big one use this one. That's not and that's not the right sort of photo because it's landscape and we need a portrait of them. It should be okay. This is good quality. So I'm just gonna use the this part here that I want. Click OK. I'm gonna go on the frame which we called the frame. 
click on that, go to the end, shift, like so, select, inverse, click on the photo, click edit, click clear. And that's it. That's the picture done. But, oh, look, our photos have disappeared. But that's not a problem. So all we need to do now is just drag our photos above the background and that puts them back. So now we've got our photos in and our little montage look. You can leave that like that and just put a bit of text down here saying China, whatever you like. I want to just make this picture, this bigger picture here, black and white, just to make a bit of difference. And you could actually have these little things here, colour if you want, and all rest black and white. Around with it. So I'm going to go image adjustments, hue saturation, and drag that down. That's gone to black or white. If you want to just give it a bit of colour, just add a bit of. Just get that scaling right. The brown. Let's see if you look. Blow it out a little bit with a bit of lightness. Okay. So now we've got a totally different look there really, so your attention's being drawn to this. And then you can crop this round if you want me to. Uh, or you can leave it like that, it's up to you. You know, it's entirely up to you. So what I need to do here is just do that. Yeah. Just get a bit of text on there first. Before we crop that. A bit of text. This just China, so it's simple like that. China 2009. And you can add a bit of drop shadow in there if you wanted to. The text, simple as that. Drop shadow 45 degrees, say. So, like that. Bump a bit of that up so you can see. And spread the size. Okay, do. And there you have it. That's our finished photo. As you can see, that looks pretty cool. And once you print that out, that'll be fantastic. I mean, you could actually crop the edges or cut around them or whatever you want to do. Or we'll just leave it like that as a digital uh, scrapbooking. And I think that looks fantastic. My name's Brian. I've been watching this tutorial about montage. Thanks very much for watching. I'll be making some more tutorials in the future.